I'm here with Sister John Dominic, one of the founderesses of the Dominican Sisters of Mary. Tell us about your community. We started in 1997. The late John Cardinal O'Connor founded us actually in St. Patrick's Cathedral in New York City. Um, this Mother Assumpta, Sister Joseph Andrews, Sister Mary Samuel, and myself. So after a little bit of time in New York, we did move to Ann Arbor, Michigan, and uh, we've been there since then. So there's four, four of us at the beginning, and now we're over 125. Wow, that's amazing. And of course, yeah. in that year, you're now celebrating an anniversary year. That's right. So it's 20 years since we started. And then when we look at it, we think about our community as the Dominican Sisters of Mary, Mother of the Eucharist. So we have a Marian focus. And then we look at, um, uh, which we did a, um, a Marian book like Mary's Yes, which tells about um, religious life, about our community, about some of the sisters' stories that they struggled about. You know, is this my vocation? Is God calling me to be a sister? And then we'll close out this year with a beautiful Christmas CD. But in between, we're talking about this uh, virtue program that we just started, Disciple of Christ, Education and Virtue. Wow, so yeah. many, many initiatives. That's really exciting. Yeah, it is. Um, Catholic TV, of course, is where our home is in a former Dominican convent, and so oh. we feel great connection to the Dominicans. And we have a mutual friend. Um, so I want to talk about the education in virtue and, of course, the, the dear Father Romanus. That's right. Well, Father Romanus Cesario is a, is a close personal friend of mine, and actually you know him as well as we discovered in our conversation. And I read his writings on virtue. He spent his life um, with moral with moral theology and, and really St. Thomas Aquinas and understanding the teachings of virtue. And he's devoted most of his uh, academic career to that. So in reading his books, I was like, this is just fascinating. Um, and, and also with Pink Cares. And understanding that when we live a virtuous life, we live joyfully and happily. And I thought, how can I take this corpus of teachings that, that began with St. Thomas Aquinas and make that accessible for Catholic education, for parishes, for schools, for children, so that we can raise up a generation that understands what it means to live virtuously. So I read it, I studied it, and we've taken this academic work that St. Thomas Aquinas had done and Father Ramadas has continued, and we've done cards with children's illustrations to so show you what virtues looks like and sounds like. So that's how you, you learn about virtue. We understand what the words mean, what virtue means. And then as we begin to um, get the words of virtue, like what does circumspection mean, foresight, um, gratitude, generosity, we want to look to the person of Jesus Christ and how do we come to know about Jesus? And that's in reading scripture. So we've, we've developed uh, journals on Lexio Divina so that children and young people can use that so they can look to Jesus and see how he wants them to live as his disciples and, and bring the virtues to life in their own spiritual life because it's all a response of grace. And then what flows from that is how to live as a witness um, uh, to Jesus Christ, and and really, really, sim very to put it very simply, you know, what is virtue? Virtue is the habit of doing good. Sure. So that's that's what we want children to have that desire to be good. And that any there's any parent, any grandparent, anyone wants that for their children. Sure, sure. And and I think intrinsically we we want that for ourselves. Yeah. But you need to have some guidance and some witnesses of of how you're going to live that out. How do people? Uh, sign up, if you will, or get involved with the Education right. of Virtue? Well, we have a website. We have educationofvirtue.com is our website. Uh, we're also on Twitter at edu in virtue. Uh, we're on Pinterest. We're on Facebook. I mean, you know, we're using every social media tool out there that we can to get the word out because yeah. uh, we really do believe that this is uh, we to, all that we're trying to do to really is just to bring up a generation of young people um, and even adults, you know, one thing that's really interesting, I was at a dinner a couple nights ago and, and all the, the people there were grandparents and they were just so taken to this. And they said, you know what, we need to tell our grandparents association about sure. this because we want to sit with our grandchildren and, and to talk to them and, and to really model for them so they can, can understand what it means, sure. you know, to follow Jesus, but most importantly, you know, to live a life of goodness. Yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful. So I, it, it'd be great for people to get involved with, certainly for the Feast of St. Anne and Joachim, right. and, uh, but all year long. And do schools use this program and parishes? Yes. we're Right now we're in over 400 schools. Wow. Um, there's a lot of parishes that use it. 
um, homeschooling communities. And I, also, I would say that uh, a lot of people use it for their own spiritual growth, just to understand, um, in particular, the, the journals, uh, the Lexio Divina Journal, The Life of Christ. Because one thing I've been very careful about is um, putting beautiful artwork. So if we think about, you know, truth, beauty, and goodness, and I think we need to see these um, beautiful paintings that have been so part of our rich Catholic culture, or even just of society. I mean, if we think back in, you know, in centuries, the Catholic culture that was all around us, you know, I mean, I think about Father Romanus when, when I was talking to him uh, before I, when I'm a principal of a school, I said, Father, how do I create a Catholic culture? And he just kind of looked around and he said, um, you know, you want beautiful artwork on the walls and you can see it. So that's, that's what we've tried to do in, in developing all of this. Well, thanks so much for your time, sister. You, we Bob. really appreciate Thank it. You. Thanks. It was great. Thank you. Back to rest of this is a day.